What's up, YouTube? I'm going to weigh in on Olympic lifting for athletes. This is not a real exciting topic for me because I don't think it's that important, but people keep sending me questions or sending me videos or posts from other coaches and stuff. So uh, I just want to weigh in, get this out there for uh, you know a resource I can send to people in the future. Olympic lifts are sort of in between training. Now, when I say that, I mean they're sort of in between explosiveness and strength, right? So compared to sprinting and jumping, they're relatively slow, um, longer time frames, not as reactive, okay? So they are an inferior explosive training stimulus compared to sprinting and jumping. And then compared to heavier strength training, they are lighter and faster, and so they're not gonna have as much influence on your strength as well. So they're inferior in that department. So you don't need Olympic lifts to train strength or to train explosiveness. So that's sort of the, the short opinion. And based on that, I would say you don't need Olympic lifts in your training, okay? And that is the side of the debate that I tend to sit on. Now, some people would put more value on that in-between training because they would call that power development, okay? So power is a physics term. It's force times velocity. And exercises that have a blend of force and velocity tend to have a higher power output okay just because that's what the equation is for the physics measurement so things where you're using some weight but moving it pretty fast that's where higher power outputs tend to occur okay however just because those things have higher power outputs doesn't mean that they will actually develop more ability by your body or ability of your body to produce power in general, right? So the way that you actually get really powerful is by being really explosive from sprinting and jumping and by being really strong from strength training. Okay, so getting more powerful doesn't necessarily have to involve finding which exercises have the highest power output. Now, let's say you do think that that explosive lifting realm is important you can acknowledge that and still question the value of Olympic lifts because you would say that, you know, you can recreate the stimulus you get from power clean or from a snatch um, with other exercises that are simpler and easy to implement, right? So, uh, you know, accelerating a lightweight fast, right? Obviously, there's ways you can do that without doing a clean or a snatch. And there's simpler and easier ways, maybe less risky ways, okay? And then also the, the catch of an Olympic lift, the, you know, the breaking, the stopping momentum element. Uh, again, you can do that similarly or even better by just dropping into a squat or a split squat fast. Okay. So I would, again, tend to side on that side of the debate and say that you don't need Olympic lifts in order to create these, these stimuli if you think they are important. Now, Will Rattel is a smart guy, strong guy, cool guy. I like him. A lot of respect for him. He has these other reasons uh, that he puts value on Olympic lifts. So he and I have actually talked about the power thing before, and he agrees with me that doing Olympic lifts for power is silly. Um, you know, I've put out some content on this before, and he's messaged me and said, like, it's amazing people don't understand this, right? So he's with me on that, but he has these other um, these other justifications for using them that involve skills, okay? So he talks about accelerating an external body of mass, which, I mean, you, you do that anytime you lift any weight, but he's talking about, I guess, one that's moving relative to you more um, as opposed to, you know, just being hanging in your hands or just being on your shoulders. So in that sense, a cleaner a snatch is different, right? Because you're accelerating it and, and throwing it up here. Um, so accelerating external body of mass, immediately yielding to that body of mass, um, interacting with this body of mass, right? But so these are skills that you develop with the barbell. And so, yeah, it's valid that you're not really going to get that from a uh, trap bar, jump shrug or whatever, or you're not going to get that from a squat. Um, but my question is, or my response is, why do athletes need those skills? And I don't think there's a good answer to that question. 
So it's valid that the Olympic lifts do provide those things in ways that other exercises don't, but who cares? I don't think athletes need those skills. I don't think they need those particular benefits. Um, so I would sort of just reject that argument altogether. Um, doesn't mean I think Will is dumb. Doesn't mean I hate him. <laughs> Again, cool dude. I like him. Um, I just don't find this argument compelling at all. Overall, I don't think you need Olympic lifts in your training. I personally like to use them uh, because I find them fun. Uh, they feel badass when you finish a lift, right? Like it's, it's, it's fun. Um, I honestly should probably do them less than I do. I maybe have a little bit of an addiction. Um, I should do them less, spend more time just doing deadlifts and dunking probably. Um, but I like them and there is a certain role that I like them to play in my training, right? And they do fit into an athlete's training well, because you're not just going to, you know, jump to 80% plus squats every workout, right? Like you're going to do some lighter, faster lifting. And so Olympic lifts, you know, fit into that really nicely. So I'm certainly not criticizing anybody for using them, but I don't think anybody should feel any pressure to use them. If you're an athlete out there training by yourself and you're putting together a program, you don't need Olympic lifts, okay? You can use them. You don't need them. If you are training with a team and you're not using Olympic lifts, you shouldn't feel like you're missing out on something important because you're not using them. Uh, if you're a coach and you're implementing you know, lifting with a team or even with individuals, I don't think you should prioritize Olympic lifts. You should not feel a need to put those in the program. Um, you certainly can if you have the time to do it well, but you don't need to. All right. So that's where I would tend to uh, side on this debate. In spite of my own love and appreciation for the lifts, I do not think they're a necessary element or an important element of training. Um, now, really, you could have that talk about any lift, right? So you could say, oh, well, do we need deadlifts? Well, arguably, there's other exercises you could do to train hip extension strength or um, spinal extension strength, right? Um, so that would be pretty replaceable. Uh, you know, reverse lunges, do you have to do them? No, you can get a similar stimulus from something else. Like you can pretty much pick any lift and have this discussion. The reason that it happens with Olympic lifts is because they are more complex, more dynamic, uh, take more time to teach to do well. Um, have a little more injury risk like please don't say they don't they're dynamic explosive movements where you have to catch a barbell like there's more risk there guys come on so that's why we have this discussion with those lifts and yeah i would say i'm definitely on the side of you do not need them i think if you train for a couple years without olympic lifts and then train for a couple years with them or if you reverse to the order right i think you'd be hard pressed to find a difference in outcomes for sprinting, jumping, agility, throwing, anything important for an athlete, right? I don't think you're going to find a difference in outcomes. Oh, come on now.